Hi everyone, bonjour à tous. This is Katie from Sudbury's for Craft Corner. Today for Craft Corner, we're gonna be making a sensory bin. Today's sensory bin is toddler or infant friendly. If they ingest it, it is safe because we're using an organic, all natural product, which is our chia seeds. Also, older kids can use this bin as well, any age really, but I just wanted to put it out there that it is toddler friendly. So let's get started. You are going to need a measuring cup, measuring utensils, depending what you'd like to call them, some water, chia seeds, you can use the white or black, but today I'm going to be using the white because I find with our food coloring, it's going to make the colors a lot brighter and pop. You're going to need a container that's going to have a lid because we're going to have to store this in the fridge and a bin to put our chia seeds once they are ready. So let's get started. We're going to start by measuring our chia seeds. So you are going to require a one and fourth cup of chia seed, which it says right here on my measuring cup, or 59 milliliters of seeds. I have sometimes a hard time pronouncing the different measurements, so if I say it incorrectly, I apologize. I will be posting the measurements at the top of this video. I find milliliters are just easier for me to measure for some reason, always have been. So here we have our chia seeds. Then we are gonna choose our color. I think I'm gonna go with my blue today. So I say five drops. Just because I find if you put more than that, it tends to stain, which we don't wanna do that. So then you're gonna pour our water. I'm using warm water for my chia seeds. You can use any kind, but I prefer warm water. Then you're going to take your spoon, you can get your toddler or child, whoever you have making this with you, to help you mix it together, mix, mix, mix. Then what you're going to do is once it's mixed, you're going to put a lid on top and you're going to place it in the fridge for 24 hours. And yes, I already have some pre-made. I have purple, green, blue, and some red. So what we're going to do is we are going to pour these into our sensory bin so I can show you what texture it is. You need to store this in your fridge, like I said, for 24 hours until you get a jelly consistency is what you're looking for. And of course, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, I also put a just a plastic recycling bag flat on my table in case there's a bit of a mess, but this is an easy clean wipe up, no big deal. So you, it's your choice if you require it or not. So I'm just gonna move my camera, make sure you can kind of see. So here we have, oops, I'll show you the containers first. Here we have our red, as you can see it's jelly. So I'm gonna place that on one side of my bin. Here's one container that's all jelly. Then I'm gonna add my purple chia seeds to the other side of the bin. Here's two. Then I'm gonna add my blue chia seeds right down the middle. Ooh, it's looking pretty. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of green on each side. So just some green on the side and some green on the side. You can do it any pattern you like. I'm just trying to show you how you can mix your chia seeds around your container. Ooh, is it ever jelly? And it's a cold texture, so it's nice. So here is my bin. There's a couple that didn't mix out of my green, no big deal. But this is what the bin looks like with all my colors, because as you can see, the colors turned out very pretty. And we have our jelly consistency, which is what you're looking for with your chia seeds. That's why we don't put too much water, but yeah. So this is our toddler friendly chia seed sensory bin. It's cold, jelly, wet, probably on a warm day like today. It'd be lots of fun to use outside with your children. I just love the texture and look, as we mix it around, it can make cool patterns for the children. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, sorry for my shaky hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you try making a chia seed sensory bin at home, please send me some photos. I'd love to see how yours turned out. 
Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone.